My name is Emiko Saroka. I'm from Los Angeles and I go to school at Sky Mountain Charter and I'm concurrently enrolled in, in Santa Monica College. So I don't have lots of free time, but in what free time I do have, I love to make things. My project, uh, my latest and biggest project is a turret from the video games Portal and Portal 2. And what it does is it opens up its arms like like that and then it shoots little nerf darts and it also talks. It says hello, tired and quiet. I actually built the entire shooting assembly out of Legos because they're really easy to work with. You know, if you make a mistake, you just disassemble it and try again. And the motors are also Lego motors. I first had the idea to build a portal turret about two years ago when I came to my first to make her fair in 2012 and since then I sort of worked sporadically and then in the last month a lot because I had a deadline because I'm going to present. Um, I was probably really young when I got started making because both my parents are kind of makers. My mom was a designer and loves art so when I was really little she got me pencils and my dad said she'll poke her eye out so my mom sawed them in half and made them little blunt stubby pencils so I couldn't poke my eye out. I think I was two. And then and my dad's a software engineer, so I also got started using computers early. I think I probably used his computer when I was two or three. The three tools I couldn't live without would probably be the, my mother's um, hand-powered drill. It's really cute. You crank it and it goes, and it's pretty safe because if you drop it, it's not going to keep going. And then I also use an X-Acto knife all the time. And my third favorite tool is duct tape because you can do anything with that thing. My advice to young makers would be that if you have a crazy idea, like building a turret, then you should just go ahead and do it. And if you don't know what you're doing, then don't worry, because you can find out. And don't be afraid to ask for help, because always there's always going to be someone who's willing to help you. 